there are two components of the second heart sound, aortic and pulmonary. Asynchronous closure of the semilunar valve causes a splitting of the second heart sound during inspiration. Normally, aortic valves closes before the pulmonary valve, A2 closing before the P2. Second heart sound is splitting may be physiological or pathological. So what's the difference between physiological and pathological is splitting of the second heart sound? Physiological splitting of the second heart sound occurs during inspiration. Why P2 closes after A2? Right ventricular overload increases right ventricular stroke volume and ejection period that delays the closure of the pulmonary valve so it closes after the aortic valve. Physiologic split of the S2 increases in increased right ventricular load but it decreases when there is increase in pulmonary vascular resistance. So physiologic split increases when there is RV overload and decreases when there is increase in pulmonary vascular resistance. That's due to the pathological splitting of the second heart sound. Pathological splitting of the second heart sound occurs in expiration. S2 is split in expiration is usually abnormal. Types of pathological splitting of the second heart sound. It may be variable splitting, number two fixed splitting and number three paradoxical splitting or the reverse splitting. So this is the normal splitting of the second heart sound. A2 marked as a red bar and P2 marked as a green bar. So P2 pulmonary valve closing after the aortic valve and in the inspiration this is split is more. In the pathological splitting, in the wide splitting, so there is increase in split between the aortic and the pulmonary valve. In the fixed splitting, it's a fixed distance between the two valves during both inspiration and expiration. And in paradoxical or reverse splitting, see that the green bar, the pulmonary valve closes before the aortic valve, so it's a reverse split. And this this occurs in expiration. Wide splitting of the second heart sound occur in right bundle branch block, pulmonic stenosis and mitral regurgitation. Number two, early aortic valve closure in mitral regurgitation or ventricular septal defect also produce a splitting during the expiration. The left ventricular causes of S2 split are LV pacemaker and LV ectopic beats. Now the right ventricular causes of the second heart heart sound is split. Number one, delayed activation of the right ventricle. Example, right bundle branch block because when there is a right bundle branch block, right ventricle will be activated slowly. Number two, increased right ventricular pressure load. And when does it occur? It occurs in pulmonary embolism or pulmonic stenosis or when there is RV overload, right ventricular overload in right ventricular failure causing delayed pulmonic valve closure. In ASD, there is fixed splitting, no respiratory change in the splitting. This is what is the fixed splitting is the same distance, fixed distance between the closures of the aortic and the pulmonary valves. Now reversed or paradoxical splitting. Reversed or paradoxical splitting occurs due to delayed closure of aortic valve. I just showed you in the diagram. Pulmonary valve closes before the aortic valve. Splitting is maximal in expiration and decreases in inspiration. So what are the causes of reversed splitting? Most common cause of reversed splitting is left bundle branch block and also right ventricular ectopic beat that excites the left ventricle. Reversed splitting may also be caused by severe aortic outflow obstruction as occur in aortic stenosis. Reverse splitting also occur in common cardiac disorders like systolic hypertension, ischemic heart disease, left ventricular failure and cardiomyopathy with left ventricular failure.